Irix guy here. Now, this is a question you've probably, especially if you're new to wanting to create a website, you've probably stumbled upon the question, should it be a Windows-based website or should it be a Linux-based website? So depending upon your level of technical knowledge, that may be a tricky question. The short answer is that, and a lot of people may argue with me, the short answer is that a properly configured Linux machine, since it is basically Unix, is a better server experience, in my opinion, for the visitors. It's, it's probably going to be faster. It's going to be, it's probably not going to lock up. It's just probably going to be a better overall experience for your website visitors. Not to say that Windows is bad, but if you've used Windows, even at a desktop computer level, you've probably found that those blue screens of death, where the screen turns blue and everything crashes, that's a quite common occurrence. You know, no matter how well you maintain, you feel that you maintain your computer, you know, how how proactively you install updated antivirus definitions, more than likely that Windows computer or Windows server is probably going to fail. Not saying Windows is bad, but if you look at Windows compared to Linux, or any sort of Unix for that matter, the reliability of Unix and Linux typically greatly trumps Windows. Now with that being said, that enhanced reliability comes with an enhanced skill set. You know, most people that can that can configure a Windows server, that's there's a lot of point and click task involved. Unix, Linux, on the other hand, you got to know the command line. You got to get in, you got to configure. It's not necessarily a walk in the park for everyone. But with that being said, with the amount of knowledge that's freely shared on on Google search, etc. today, it's easy for someone to quickly learn, more quickly learn Linux and Unix. When I started with Unix, it was back, uh, it was actually back before Linux existed. And I was playing with old versions of, of, uh, of Silicon Graphics Unix. I was playing with old versions of uh, Sun Microsystems Unix, which was Solaris. I mean, that was, these were pre-Linux days. And then Linux came out and I started playing with Slackware. Slackware was my first flavor of Linux. I played with Red Hat. I played, what was it, Man, was it Mandriva? Um, now, ultimately, Ubuntu is my go-to uh, Linux distro for, uh, for all my servers today. So, yeah, Linux for me, Linux for me is a must. And I know there's probably a little bit of bias there because, you know, I've dealt extensively with both operating systems growing up and, and ultimately always, you know, stuck with Unix. And Windows has changed. Windows is a different animal today than it was in the past. But likewise, Linux and Unix has changed. And as far as stability is concerned, it would be hard for me to say to go Windows instead of Unix. If you don't have the skill set necessary to properly configure a Linux server, maybe, maybe find someone that does instead of going the do-it-yourself Windows route. That's my personal recommendation. Again, I'm not here to bash Windows. I'm not here to, to be a Unix and Linux fanboy, even though I am but I just wanted to share my opinion. So I hope this video is of value and uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash iRickSky. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, iRickSky here. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe, like, and share. It's viewers like you that enable my channel to continue to grow. Thank you.